Wings, the largest domestic violence nonprofit agency in Illinois, is hosting Blossom Couture Fashion Show to bring awareness to domestic violence and highlight the resilience of the beauty of survivors. Joining us now with all the details is Nigel Barker and Candace Jordan. Welcome both of you. Thank, Thank you, you so for being here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Nigel, tell us about the big event. What are we going to be seeing? Because we know there's music, there's fashion, there's some good stories too. There is. It's going to be a fantastic fashion show. You know, I think it's it's always fantastic when you can highlight somebody through beauty and resilience and exactly these survivors it, it's about the fact that they can, they've blossomed now that they've had the, mm. all the help from Wings and the Wings program mm -hmm. um, and we have designs by uh, Rosa de la, well, it's an Elder de la Rosa Elder de la Rosa, Elder de la Rosa mm -hmm. yeah. has her collection and we've got survivors actually walking as well Elaine Dame is going to be walking and performing yes. uh, she's going to be performing here as yes. well yeah. Um, so yeah that's going to be an amazing event and I think it's just you know be great to see the models and the survivors together and with the community. It's a sold out event mm -hmm. yes. as well. So fantastic. Candace, you're yeah. being honored. Yes. And it's really difficult for many of survivors to come forward and talk about something like this. Right. So I imagine a fashion show, you know, a bright, Right. forward thinking event helps that along a little bit. Right, you're absolutely right. It's, there's a stigma attached to it and yeah. a lot of people yeah. don't want to talk about it. And that's one of the reasons this debut event was created. So it was like a beautiful safe space for people to talk about a very tough subject. Yeah, and, yeah. and celebrate living and surviving through it and looking gorgeous and as Nigel said, blossoming too. It's yeah. the next step. I mean, I think that, you know, obviously it's a very serious subject matter right. yeah. and it happens more often than not mm -hmm. and can lead to really sort of severe situations and circumstances and femicide and everything else, mm -hmm. right? But this is about the fact that if you speak up and you know that there's a safe place to go, like WINGS, mm -hmm. the WINGS program, that you can actually get help and your life, you can have the future. What's the next chapter? And this is that next chapter. Yeah, you know, the statistics were very startling. Yeah. Well, was it one in three one women, in three women and one, one in, in four men yes. and one in 15 children are affected by domestic violence at some point in their lifetimes which is absolutely horrifying yeah. Yeah. and so that's why this event was created by Tracy Mayer who I mean she did it from scratch and now it's a sold-out event it's a lot of excitement about it, a lot of buzz we're on your show yeah. Yeah. which makes it fabulous and so yeah and you know 99% um, of the clients at wings say they never will go back to their abusers. So that's a statistic that's a really good one. Yes. Okay, we do keep saying it's a sold out event, but people can still help the program, correct? Definitely, okay. they can donate. Absolutely, right. well, go to the website, you know, wingsprogram.com, um, and we need money, ultimately, at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. That's what makes the difference here. That's what this is, is a fundraiser in itself. Yeah. But also, understand the issue and know that there's a place to go. Right. I mean, I think spreading the word and speaking up, mm -hmm. and if you see an issue, you see a problem, talk about it. Get it, get the word out there. Ask someone, are they okay? Yes. I mean, you know, oftentimes in you know, situations like this, people bottle it in, they don't talk mm -hmm. about it, they don't know that there's a safe place to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. And Wings is, is all about saying, no, we, there's, there's a place to go, there's a way we can talk about this. And that's it's so important. I mean, it's, it's happened to so many people. You mentioned Tracy, Tracy Mayer. She's mm -hmm. also a survivor herself. Oh, that's um, awesome. You know, yeah, it's, it's, she can speak from the she can experience. Speak from experience. Right. Yeah, so talk a little bit about Wings. You say 99% of the people who go through Wings say they will not go back to their abusers. What takes place when you go to Wings, when you show up on their doorstep? Well, when you show up on their doorstep, it's obviously all, you know, top secret. Mm -hmm. Your your identity is safe. But okay. they also pr they provide counseling. They provide homes while you're recovering, you know, from the domestic violence. Um, they provide all kinds of support systems. And they've been doing it since 1985. Okay. What about women? with children. Are they welcome there yes, as well? Yes, they are. And the yeah, are women and fa yeah, families. Men, women, and children are all, you know, victims, right. survivors of domestic violence. So they say their doors are open for anybody that suffers that kind of abuse. And, and the violence doesn't necessarily have to be physical as well, right? No, I mean, I think, it, for, I mean, I, I'll talk from personal experience. I mean, for me, it was mental. You know, I, my father was a bit of a violent man growing up, right. and I, you know, witnessed him hit my mother on multiple occasions um, and as a child when you witness that and you don't know what to do to help defend your mother mm. um, that puts you in a very vulnerable mental position yes. yeah. you know and so th therefore you, know, you can grow up with having all kinds of issues as from a child's perspective and so you weren't actually the maybe the victim physically but you can be the the, the, the victim for the rest of your life because mm. you don't know how to process what you yeah. saw and what you witnessed mm -hmm. and so just living in fear I would imagine and all those things and maybe you then become a, you know a, a, an offender yourself mm -hmm. or you or you know, there's many things that can happen mm -hmm. out of that, right? Mm -hmm. So you've got to get to these children to help them to understand that, they, you know, that, that there's, there's a way out and yes. there's another way.
Absolutely. Yeah. All right, so this is wonderful. The event, unfortunately, is sold out, but we can still help by donating to Wings, yes, correct? right, exactly. All right, so here's the information there on your screen. 24-hour Illinois domestic violence hotline is also there. The telephone number is there. Social media handles as well as the website.